Hi, Sarah and Chef Joe here from Cook with Five Kids. Today we are going to teach you how to make a delicious soup. This soup is called Mushroom Potato Onion Farro Soup. The soup is vegan. You can also make it dairy or vegetarian if you want. The ingredients you need are some high quality olive oil, some salt, potatoes, onions, mushroom, you can use a little bit of vegan butter, Earth Balance, or regular butter if you're eating dairy. And then also some farro. So the first step is to prepare all your ingredients and cut your onions. We usually use two small onions, but if you really like onions, you can use more or less. You're going to dice the onions into a pretty small size and you'll saute them in a hot pan. This pan's been heating for a while and cook them for about five minutes. If you like pepper, you could also put a little bit of pepper in, but since I'm allergic to pepper, we're not going to add any today. So after you've cooked your onions for about five minutes, they'll look like this, a teeny bit brown. You don't need to overcook them. Now since we have time to make this soup, we're going to take out each ingredient and cook them by themselves. If you're in a rush, just keep adding in your ingredients. You don't need to take them out each time. But for us, we're going to remove them. So we're going to remove the onions from the pan. Next, we're going to toast the farro. So we use about a half of a bag. We like the Trader Joe's farro. And we just toast it in the hot pan. And the toasting of the farro only takes about two or three minutes. You don't want to burn it, you're just giving it a nice toasted taste. We have also used barley, that was really delicious. Um, we have tried lots of other grains, but the farro really tastes the best. This 10 minute farro gets really soft and gives a really nice nutty flavor to the soup. So toast your farro a little bit, no added oil and then we will remove the farro and put it in with the onions to rest. When the farro start to pop a little and you start to smell the toasted smell, take them out of the pan. Next, we are going to cook the potatoes. You want to dice your potatoes to a uniform size so they cook at the same time. We like a really small square dice, but you can cut them any way you want. If you're in a rush, just cut them quickly. And as for the amount of potatoes, do as many as you like. We really love potatoes, so we're going to do three. But one was really huge. Put in a little bit of butter and some olive oil. That's a little too much to my liking. Chef Joe prefers a very generous amount. Let that heat up and then add in all your potatoes. Now these potatoes taste a lot like french fries and you might be tempted to eat them when they're done cooking, but don't. Save them for the soup. They're delicious in the soup. 
Add in a generous amount of salt and again, a little pepper might be nice. And saute these for five to eight minutes. While your potatoes are cooking and try and have as much surface area as possible in the pan, so make them in a really flat way, you should start cutting your mushrooms. And we use four of the small boxes of mushrooms or two of the large boxes. Cut the mushrooms into a little bit larger pieces than your potatoes and just keep your size uniform throughout the recipe. So we're gonna cut this whole bowl of mushrooms and we will cook them in the pan after the potatoes are done. And the potatoes are getting really nice and crispy. And here are the onions and the farro that are rested. So here are potatoes. They are really nice and crispy. Not too crispy, but perfect. A few have been eaten and the rest are saved for the soup. So we're going to take them out and put them in this bowl with the onions and farro. Here is our mountain of mushrooms. It looks like too many mushrooms, but they cook down really, really small, and you'll be surprised at how few there are at the end of this. Um, no extra oil is needed for the mushrooms. They just soak up the oil, so just use what's left in the pan. And again, cook your mushrooms maybe five minutes, five to ten. They cook down pretty quickly. And I know you're thinking this looks like way too many mushrooms, but trust me, it's not. Okay, so the milk and the mushrooms have been bubbling and boiling for about three to four minutes. Now we're going to add a little bit more milk. I'd say about another half a cup. And we're also, we're going to cook that for about two more minutes until it comes to a boil again. And then we're going to add in our potatoes, farro, and onions. As well as about three cups of water. After about two minutes, your soup base should look light brown like this. And then you know that you're ready to add your rest of your ingredients. So we're going to pour those in carefully. I wish I could share with you the delicious smell that's coming out of this soup. It's amazing. So you'll stir in the rest of your ingredients or if you're making this as a one pot thing and you're in a rush, everything will be in there at this point. Let that cook for about a minute, and then you're going to add in three cups of water. After you've cooked that a few minutes, it should look like this. Most of the milk has disappeared, and we're going to add in the water. Stir it around, then you're going to cook it at a medium high temperature, medium, for about 20 to 30 minutes. You're going to check on it, you're going to stir it like every 5 to 10 minutes, keep an eye on it, but after 20 to 30 minutes it should be done. Our soup is done, ours we let go about 25 minutes. We like ours thick, other people might like it a little soupier, it's more of like a stew this time, so you just have to decide how you like it. You can also add more water if you like it looser. So we're going to plate up a bowl and have some lunch. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.